Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, Life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. Warm wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Can I help you with something? 
I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. <sighs> that was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Fuck. What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Have you checked your gear? Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we have the part. Check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. 
It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diphenoxin? What the fuck is that? Guess would have headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. <laughs> your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is it fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut? Ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? 
940, thank you, sir. Looking for 950. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. Sold for 950,000 pounds. This marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very it out of the I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tram. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the bowl there? One of only three beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, Richard, price, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Mate, Thank you, stop madam. Bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine 9-5, five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. Again, thank time. you, madam. Do you have a 11, it's this? your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay. so. Because you know, price we have 11 5. logarithmic curve, derivative 11, approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid are At 11, madam. What is 11, five. And a half percent. Trust me. 11 5. 11 5 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11 There's 5, no it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. 11 5. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, madam. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12.5 once. 12.5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. 
You see? The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Hello, me. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Alert the guard, or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out of the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. I did not expect this to go that smoothly. <sighs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Oh, thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, though.
Well, we have it. Thank fuck for that. Let's just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. We need to get away from here. We're going to take this bowl to Woos to finish what you started. To Mr. Woos? Yeah, but well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Uh, um, what do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going wrong. Well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, 
How about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory careering. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. You didn't know any better, so you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Follow me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Troy family, Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordae Tofoy! Goodbye! We will not meet again! <sighs> Fucking great! I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. You fucking did.
did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl! This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations on my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. One double room, please. Name? Smith. Smith. Really? I panicked. Turn the on. Believe Wu. They knew nothing about the job. He looked convincing, didn't he? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> not adding much to this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for twenty percent job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. in two high-performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle. It's I think the choice will believe the ball's history. No choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh yeah, how very compassionate of him. This robbery may also 
been linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at... Fucking hell. Matt, give me the ball. Bapo, Beta won here. Trust me, please. No, Jing Lanja won her. Why? Jing 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 Come on. Pop Gaila, fight each other. It's a tyrant walker. Matt, slow down. I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bowl? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Hainsworth, they would have found out. 
Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is the process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean? We don't really have much choice. Yeah, well, my father's told me one thing. It's in a situation like this, you're best off smacking the biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on. You didn't believe that. Hey, you. So we're bus stop this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, smug boy? Come on, let him be. Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You got a bus to catch, have you? Let him go! <laughs> Oh, more like a limousine if you ask me, smug boy. The police. It's okay. We're only ever gonna fucking play, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. Yeah. Fucking hell. Guy nearly choked me. I'm sorry. You were probably right. The auction guy, Jeffrey, nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl right after the expert on stage had it. And before we stole it. It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. That's threatening. Hi, I'm, I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. It was Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. Um, I thought you had some party to go to. Some bet for a grand. Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. Look, I know you wanted to help me out tonight, but I can't give you any information about that patient. So he's here. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have even told you that. Come on, Matt. Let's try the other. Yes, Wait. The CPT was Shit. And I on the no? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. Thank you. 
What? I didn't tell you anything. So, um, here's the girl. Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Oh, you wish. <laughs> They wanted me to use the internet. Oh, my God. I know. You must be, like, 80, right? No, no, no. I think I just worked out how Paul got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. Shouldn't be here. Nurse! Nurse! Listen to me. I'm a peaceful woman. I don't want to hurt you. But if you try that again, believe me, the bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do we have an agreement? Uh, yes. Good. Now tell us about your deal with Samuel Paul. We well, you know you replaced the force in Rice Bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. I know what you did, Sebastian. Paul's cabinet. The one he bought right before the bowl was auctioned. On the secret compartment. Yeah, that's right. Perfect place to hide a porn magazine. The forgery was hidden inside right before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards, you swapped it for the original. You're the only one who could have done it, Sebastian. The only one. Peter, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Wait, what? Okay. Just you and me now, mate. Now where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm gonna ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped the original with the forgery and I hid it. In the hidden compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? It's supposed to be so. I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth? Yes. about Jamesworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... Yeah. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Go well soon. Yeah, yeah. Good night.
Wait here. Looks good. You certainly do. What was that? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, it's just noisy. Look out! Mate, what the fuck happened? We have her. You find a ball. Bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring it to the lobby of our hotel by nine tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. Reception. Mr. Quinn is in room 13. Sorry, sir, I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <coughs> Long flight. How can I help you? I have a meeting with Mr. Quinn. Second floor, room 13. Great, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Doors closing. Fuck it, they've cancelled his card. Doors closing. What the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Oh, yes. You going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Car park. You don't work here? Picking up. Mr. Quinn sent me down. Oh shit, do I look shifty? Hello? 
the, the car parks just through those rooms. Thank you. about they're going to fucking kill you. They're going to do that anyway. We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part of it. Solsi. Solsi now. No, you don't go wrong. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Yeah, I got it. Bring it to us. No, not you, mate. I want to speak to the chief psycho. with Samuel Pa? Oh, Mr. Pa does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he want to see me. And he want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't? Mr. Pa? Uh, thank you, Ella. I'll deal with this. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? Well, the boy that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Fordrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? stupid to come in here with the real one, do you? Where's the original? Mailing has it. 
What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Mr. Pa? Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. We need to adjust a little deal. How much? Half the selling price. 6.25 million? I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch! Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> he's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. This is the bowl that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? I just... Just wait! Maybe... Help me! Please! What are you going to do with him? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Chances. Fuck the chances. That's what I say. <laughs> 